The anti-Russian circles in the US, UK and other countries are intentionally manipulating public opinion about the bringing down of Boeing flight MH17 to blame it on Russia and the pro-Russian People's Volunteer Corps in Donbass. The press coverage in the US and UK was fiercely anti-Putin, with blame firmly placed with the president personally. Was this the result planned and managed? The reporting in the UK and US next day after the downing of MH17 used the language of blame. Russia was already presumed guilty. The Sun claimed that President Putin personally owned the missile, Putin's missile. The Guardian UK reported on the same date that Hillary Clinton had made an early public declaration. There's a lot more that Putin needs to has gone too to far. And the first US accusation, albeit unsubstantiated, that it probably had to be Russian insurgents. The New York Daily News repeated the Sun's theme of Putin's ownership of the event. The Times byline, the loss of flight MH17 was a direct result of a conflict fueled deliberately by Moscow. These examples of next day headlines demonstrated that both the UK and US press immediately blamed Russia and Putin without any serious corroborating evidence, precisely echoing Clinton's statement. This approach continues throughout the majority of reporting to date. Yet, the shooting down of a Siberia Airways Tu-154 airliner by the Ukrainian military on exercise in 2001 was and continues to be described as an accident, a tragedy. After nine days of denials, President Leonid Kuchma acknowledged a tragic coincidence. This is ABC News Nightline. Substituting for Ted Koppel and reporting from New York, Barry Serafin. In 1988, an Iran air flight with 290 passengers was shot down between Dubai and Bandar Abbas by a RIM-66 missile fired from the USS Vincennes whilst on patrolling protecting oil tankers. Those responsible for this tragic accident went unpunished. The crew received combat medals, and the air war coordinator on board received a medal for his ability to quickly and precisely complete firing procedures. The downing of MH17 has been described very differently. Putin's missile is a headline which serves as a perfect example of the emotional terror campaign waged against Russia and its president. Our project is called the MH17 Inquiry. Our contributors are independent Russian and international journalists, experts and scientists. We set ourselves the task of dragging this case away from the realms of politics and conspiracy theories into the realm of facts and the deductive method. Even our first report, I can assure you, will change everything. And this is only the beginning.